All right, good morning. It's 429, 43.8 degrees on day 95. That is the seventh, seventh day of July. Um, just breaking camp. Um, sorry, I didn't get a wake up check in for you this morning. Uh, the shade came by and camped with me last night, so that was kind of nice. Um, granted, I was already pretty well bunked up by the time she rolled in, but that's all right. Still nice to see a familiar face. Uh, meanwhile, Rabbit, um, he was doing another four miles or so when I when I camped, so he was uh, he was ahead, and I don't expect I'll see him again anytime soon because he's going straight out to uh, Sierra City, um, whereas I am stopping in Truckee slash Donner or whatever today. I'm not sure exactly where the trail is. Let me just stop and finish this thought. Um, anyway, so yeah, some things I didn't mention about yesterday, man. So I was really looking forward to doing a few more miles than I did yesterday. I mean, it was still a good day. It was still 21, I think 21.7 or something like that, um, which was actually my first 20 plus mile day in over half, in, in, in half the hike. So it had been day 46 was the last time I did uh, 20 or more. Um, and then yesterday was day 94 or something like that. Um, yeah, so pretty much half the hike ago was the last time I did a 20, but feel good, felt good, um, still feeling good. Uh, but yeah, I wanted, I wanted to do a few more miles than that, but man, like the conditions were just not bad, but kind of frustrating in that I had to don and doff my crampons five different times. Um, each time I put them on, it takes five minutes. Each time I take them off, it takes five minutes. So, um, donning and doffing them five times, that was 40 minutes out of the day, which would have been you know, a mile or two that I could have done uh, on top, but um, just kind of is what it is. I don't feel too broken up about it, just kind of is what it is. So, um, yeah, anyways, not really sure what I'm going to do today with respect to Donner Pass and Truckee, but uh, again, it's just a touch under 10 miles to get down to Donner Ski Ranch, um, and that's going to be my destination, uh, at least for the time being. So I'm going to skedaddle on down there, and uh, I'll talk to you there.
guys, it is 849, 64.8 degrees. I've made it to the intersection of Highway 40 and Donner Pass Road. So it should be just a few hundred feet, probably less than a quarter mile or so, I think, from Donner Ski Ranch, which is my destination for the day. I've been giving it a lot of thought. In fact, let me back up. Dude, in my headphones today, I have a, I don't usually listen to anything this early in the day, but it seemed appropriate. I got I got an audiobook when I had a spit of service back there. And let me get the exact title and author for you. It is Ordeal by Hunger, The Story of the Donner Party by George R. Stewart. And it has been riveting and definitely made me a little misty at times, although certainly by now, if you've watched my previous hikes, you know I have a tendency to get a little extra emotional on hikes, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am on Donner Pass Road, um, walking towards uh, Donner Ski Lodge, or whatever it is, I just said the right name, resort, I don't know. Um, I think my plan for the day is this. I think I'm gonna get to this resort, it's just still before 9 a.m. We'll see if they can take me in. I hear they're very slow. Their restaurant doesn't open until 11. I think what I wanna do is check into their hostel, dump my gear, take inventory and see how quickly I can get a hitch down to Truckee. I want to spend the day in Truckee. I want to just hang out, get some good grub, maybe get a beverage or two, hopefully get a ride back to Donner Pass tonight and then break out of here tomorrow. Um, continue north for the next stop to be, uh, oh gosh, I should have been ready with this, uh, Quincy. Quincy, like 115 miles away or something like that. We'll kind of see how all that shakes out. Um, the idea is basically, I, I, as much as I really wanted to stay in Truckee, it looks like it's just gonna be too expensive and I really can't justify it, particularly when, come to find out last night when I lay down to process video, that, um, that I lost the little USB, little micro, whatever. I lost a critical MP par part of how I process videos. Um, I'm not able to take any of the data off of my, um, not able to take any of the data off of my GoPro at this point to transfer videos. So I have ordered a replacement to Quincy. Should be there in six days or so. And, uh, oh my goodness, there's a lot going on. Yeah, a backhoe and a cement mixer. All right, whatever. Now I'm gonna cross the road here while I can. Um, anyways, I lost that critical piece of equipment. I've ordered a replacement to Quincy. Uh, I was kind of kicking the tires on accommodations in Quincy. Looks like it's a little bit cheaper than Truckee, but still pretty gosh dang expensive. So, um, so uh, basically I'll probably wind up taking my next zero in Quincy. I mean, obviously all of this could change if, I don't know, anything. But uh, that's kind of the plan for now is save my money, not stay in Truckee, not spend too much time in Truckee, and instead get to Quincy where I am expecting a critical uh, piece of processing video. So looks like that's Donner Ski Ranch. Um, I definitely will check back in just to kind of update you on what's going on, but probably won't be for a little bit. I want to get laundry, I want to get shower, I want to get my bunk all squared away. We'll see how we go from here. I'll talk to you later. All right, so we're over here at the hostel. Right over there is the restaurant. It's where, where I walked in before. Little door, I already entered the code. Just a little code, coded entry door. As soon as you walk in, some lockers as well as a laundry machine, detergent down here. There are a few other rooms. I guess that's room four up there. Uh, it took me a minute to find room one, but it's again the front door. So as soon as you walk into the front door to the left, there's like a little kitchen area. Not much to it. Pretty straightforward, looks great. There is also a little living room type of area. Pretty straightforward, again, not much to it. Residence only, hiker's fridge, oh. <laughs> not much in there for hikers. Yeah, not much in there at all. I wonder what residence means. There is some stuff in there, but that's not really my business, because I am not a resident, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, room one, right here, that's where I'm at. And you can see, uh, what's this, two, four, six, seven beds. 
Um, I was assigned to bed number two, but so far as I can discern, there is no label whatsoever. And uh, so far as I can glean from my interactions with the staff, there is also not a huge demand for beds. So I just went ahead and for the time being, I'm claiming the queen, the bottom of that bunk, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and then you got the bathrooms for room one. So we have two sort of commodes, no worries. Looks great. Big old sink, couple random toiletries. Um, stand up shower. And then in here, this is where I just got out of the shower. Just a big old tub shower sink, standard sort of bathroom. That is the hostel. So you get for 40 bucks, you get laundry, you get Wi Fi, which is like, by the way, it's like 40 megabytes up, 40 megabytes down. Um, so pretty good Wi Fi speed, actually. You get laundry, shower, Wi-Fi, and of course your bunk and all that for 40 bucks, which I'd say is a pretty good deal. Um, I got my laundry going right now, as you might be able to tell by my puffy and towel. Uh, I got my laundry going right now, and uh, as soon as that's done, I'm going to try and uh, catch a hitch into Truckee.